Are you listening? Pack South takes place at the Henry B. Gonzalez Convention Center in San Antonio, Texas every year. And this year, the most anticipated games for gamers include Days Gone and Resident Evil 2 The Remake. So without further ado, let's jump straight into those. Hacks originally started in 2004 by the authors of the popular webcomic series Penny Arcade. The convention has grown from its early days of being attended by 1,300 people in Washington to having conventions every year in Seattle, Boston, Philadelphia, San Antonio, and in 2013, PAX went global by starting PAX Australia in Melbourne. PAX is many things for many different people, but first and foremost, PAX is a convention for gamers, developers, and fans to celebrate all things gaming, including this year, Resident Evil 2. That's right, gamers will finally get to dive back into the 1998 classic that has been fully remastered from the ground up. In Resident Evil 2, Leon Kennedy and Claire Redfield find themselves in the middle of the zombie apocalypse and must survive multiple roadblocks as they escape Raccoon City. Resident Evil 2 will launch on January 25th for the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. But PAX isn't just home for the big AAA titles. If anything, PAX is ruled by the indies, with studios like Kit Fox Games, Martyr Games Studio, Studio Evil, Rockfish Games, No Hope, Blue Goji, Overlord Games, Inner Friend, and my personal favorite, House Pixel Games. All right, we are here with House Pixel Games, who is showing off mowing and throwing. And uh, what do you got to say about mowing and throwing right now? Well, it's great to be back at PAX South. Moen and Throwen seen a lot of progress over the last year. We've added a 1v1 mode. We've added four brand new levels, new characters, new hats, an end game victory screen, and there's still more to come. We're excited to bring female gnomes to players. Uh, a lot of players are excited to hear about our upcoming console plans. So uh, please stay tuned for that at GDC this year. We're gonna have some big announcements about your preferred console. So anyone who is interested in playing Moan and Throwin, where can they find it right now? Right now you can find it on Steam. It's $19.99, although it's technically early access. It is a very polished early access. You're not going to have problems playing it. Uh, and if you do, you can email me personally and I'll make sure that we <laughs> fix it right on the spot. Yep. Yeah, this is the one game that out of everything at PAX, I highly recommend you checking it out. It's a ton of fun. Moan and Throwin, available on Steam and maybe a console near you soon. We're here at the Days Gone booth, right next to one of the stars of Days Gone, the Freaker. Uh, let me ask you, what does it feel like to star in such a monumental video game like Days Gone? Hey, what's it, what's it feel like to be in Days Gone? And in a world where the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One are all that matters, here at PAX, classics are the king. In this room behind me, the PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, N64, whatever your favorite console is, they have it here for you to play. Now, one of the coolest things about PAX is the ability to rent board games and play with your friends. And they have literally everything you could ever want. For example, if you're a fan of Ticket to Ride, we've got Ticket Ride Europe, Ticket to Ride First Journey, Ticket to Ride Rails and Sails, Ticket to Ride New York, they literally have every single version of Ticket to Ride here for you. And not only does PAX have plenty of games for you to rent, but they also have tons of companies showing off their latest board and card games, like Super Show the Game by SRG Universe. All right, I'm standing here right now with Steve Resk, the boss SRG with Super Show the Game. Uh, Steve, can you tell me exactly what we're looking at here? 
We are looking at the number one wrestling game in the world, the Super Show, where you can live all your wildest wrestling fantasies without ever taking a chair show. A lot of the beauty of Super Show, the game, is the community behind us. We have services where we have the ability to create fan-made characters like the Mass Llama and Merlin Von Berlin. We do this through various Great ways. Yep. We have competitions throughout the year where you can win them in events. You can win them by storytelling. You can win them in, in random lotteries. And if somebody wanted to find out more about the game, where can they find you? srguniverse.com would be the best place to go. We have a great social media following. Facebook.com backslash Super Show The Game at SRG Universe on Twitter. We also have a Discord page that has online play where people are playing all the time uh, and a Super Show discussion group on Facebook, which is awesome. Awesome. Well, that wraps up this year's Pack South for the Nerf Report. But make sure to stick right here for all of the gaming news and subscribe to the Nerf Report.